Because of you, I purchased real aftershave. Discernment is difficult. Maybe there's something to save. I'm crying inside, but I'm trying to be brave. When I see you around, I'll say hi, or at least I will wave. Hi, I'm Lightning Lucas, and I got that name by being struck by lightning and surviving. And now I'm bringing at you a weekly podcast, and this week's episode is available on video. So if you're not already watching me, then you can, if you would like to, uh, find a video version by checking out the link in the description. We'll wait. Meanwhile, how many fingers am I holding up? See, that was a visual gag. Uh, I held up 52 because today is episode 52, and um, it's the first video episode. So I'm not sure if you guys are going to like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. it. It's a little bit more work for me. Maybe a lot bit work. Maybe a lot bit more work. But here it is, episode 52. I'm your host, and this is the first video episode of... Oh, Okay, so today, as usual, we're going to have two songs. Uh, today, the new one will be first. Sometimes the old one is first. Uh, but today, the new one is going to be first. It's called It's Over in the Blink of an Eye. And it's ironic because it's like a four-minute long song. So that's fun. After we hear that, we'll have some riffing in the answer on the answer to a question. And then we'll follow that with a live version of the Better Birthday song. And then we'll follow that with the old song of the day, which is called The Sky is Blue Today, But So Am I. And then we'll have a little bit more riffing, and then that'll be it. So episodes are usually 15 to 20 minutes long. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, please consider becoming a patron. There's a link in the description below or in wherever you find the description, however you are watching or listening to this. And clicking on that link does not commit you to anything. Okay. So, well, let's get started. Okay, so this new song... Um, I just finished it a day or two ago and recorded it then, uh, but I wrote the chorus maybe a year or two ago after getting ghosted by someone that I didn't really know very much at all who I had met on the dating websites, um, but then I wrote the verses to the song. Uh, they are fresh based on a new experience of something that could possibly have gone somewhere but ended up not going anywhere so here without further ado we have it's over in the blink of an eye and i'm going to disappear for a little bit and we'll have some uh sort of visualizer videos and then i'll be back so here goes it's over in the blink of an eye 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 In this endgame we find ourselves on facing pawn I thought that we had something good going on Unfortunately, it turns out I was wrong, and so I decided to finish this song. Because of you, I purchased real aftershave. Discernment is difficult, maybe there's something to save. I'm crying inside, but I try to be brave. When I see you around, I'll say hi, or at least I will wave. It's over in the blink of an eye. It's over in the blink of an eye. It's 
silver in the blink of an eye. It's over in the blink of an eye. Forward's the only direction to go. Follow the stars if you're on the right road. I see your reflection in glistening snow. Should we never have started? How were we to know? Draw miscellaneous memory card. Tell me your story, your life has been hard. It's pliable still, though your heart has been Scarred. Yes, these people let people walk through their yard. It's over in the blink of an eye. It's over in the blink of an eye. It's over in the blink of an eye. It's over in the blink. This song can be bleak and repetitive, true. The wording's ironic, the rhymes seem see-through. But now everyone knows how I feel about you. How I wish it could work, but it can't, so we'll have to make do. It's over in the blink of an eye. Question, question, maybe it's a question, maybe it's a comment. Okay, so today's question is from author and uh, podcaster and YouTuber Ryan Holiday. He did not actually submit this question, but this question is in an episode of his podcast, which I really enjoy and have listened to many times, and I will try and link to it in the description. It is a compilation of 50 rules for life from the Stoics. And one of the questions that Ryan asks in that podcast is, are you meditating on your mortality? And so I have a story that's riffing off of that, which is that my dad just had his second hip replacement surgery and it went well. So a round of applause for the surgeons and everybody that helped. And uh, but anyway, he uh, I I helped take him up to Washington, D.C. area to get the surgery. And uh, we stayed overnight in a hotel. And then my mom and I uh, dropped him off at like 630 in the morning and then went back to the hotel to try and sleep some more. But I don't think we we didn't sleep very much more anyway. But uh, the point of the story is that my dad was allowed to have his phone as he was preparing for surgery. And he texted me that he was listening to some of my new albums. I released three albums last year and um, well, or in the last year, they're all available at lightninglucas.com. Uh, and there will be links in the description as well. But anyway, he just was commenting on how basically how tragic it would have been to have lost me almost eight years ago in, or maybe it's nine. Anyway, when I got struck by lightning and almost died and uh, yeah, so that made me meditate on my mortality a little bit more than I normally do. Uh, and I think it's, it's a valuable, uh, it's a valuable exercise, but I don't think we need to get hung up on it too much. 
I think there's something wrong with one of the reeds on my harmonica. Might need to replace this guy. Next up, I'm going to sing the happy birthday, the, the better birthday song is what I call it. And it's been a year. No, I've, I've played it a number of times over the past 52 episodes, but uh, this week, my older nephew, Jeremy, is having another birthday. So I'm pretty sure he turned seven last year. So I'm pretty sure that means he's turning eight. But I lose track because they grow so fast. Uh, anyway, Jeremy, here's the birthday song for you. Happy birthday. We all love you. May your birthday dreams all come true. Happy birthday. We all love you. Jeremy. Happy birthday. Okay, so the old song this week is called, uh, let's see, what is it called? Um, it's called The Sky is Blue Today, But So Am I. I'm, I'm actually not sure about the, the article in there, whether it should be but or and. I think in the song I actually sing and so am I sometimes and but so am I other times, but I think I like it better with but. The sky is blue today, but so am I. So uh, that's what we're going to hear next, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. My brother helped me write it, and uh, unfortunately, he is not performing in this, uh, this track. Um, this track is taken from the Sky Finding album, which I think at least last week we took a song from that album and maybe the week before that too. Uh, I, I can't remember. It, it all blurs in my head. But anyway, the point is this song was written by myself and my brother. And then um, I performed it in 2015 is when this album came out. And so it was old already then though because it was actually one of the oldest extant lightning lucas songs i believe it comes from 2008 so uh yeah and already i was writing about some of the same things i'm still writing about uh you'll hear those themes coming through and uh without further ado here it is Cry. How would you fix the bad beginning? What would make up for all the lies? The sky is blue today, but so am I. The sky is blue today, but so am I. That I've tried has failed I don't know what else to do It feels like I'm running in circles, circles Chasing you If you could write a happy ending One that would not make us cry How would you fix the bad beginning What would make up for all the lies the sky blue today and so am I the sky is blue today and so am I That I'm fine What makes you think That I'm fine All this Wasted time Wasted heart Wasted 
wasting my doubt If you could write a happy ending One that would not make us cry How would you fix the bad beginning One would make up for all the lies The sky is blue today But so am I The sky is blue Okay, thank you so much for listening slash watching. Uh, please do let me know. You can email me with many, uh, anything, thoughts, questions that you'd rather not uh, submit via audio or um, just really anything you want to say to me. My email address is in the description. It's uh, lucas at lightninglucas.com. Now, uh, I'm going to try and play you the Patreon patron thank you song live. It goes like this. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your generosity. I could not make music like I do if it weren't for people like you. Okay, so let me know what you thought of this uh, live-ish episode, and I would really love to hear your thoughts, and Next week, we'll be back with season four. It will either be more videos like this or um, back to audio only. And I will probably be the one who makes that decision, but I have not made it yet. So if you want to, uh, you know, have your voice be heard, uh, yeah, shoot me an email. Okay. Uh, thanks. This has been episode 52 of Hold That.